Hello guys, how's it going? So my name is David Santiago Perez and today I'm going to talk to you about the list of expanded language functions. Uh, so let's start with the first slide. Okay, we have the first slide here and the first expanded language function that we have is displacement. So displacement refers to the distance between the ideas and its source. It is the next stage babies acquire when displacing from the word as they see it extended. That is, an extension of themselves. For example, someone can talk about a country they have never visited. So, for example, he might say, I love how Turkey still holds a classical type of architecture. And that is displacement. Now, semanticity, he refers to the way speakers handle meaning. In this way, higher acquisitional of meaning results in a bigger lexicon, that is more vocabulary, and relative meaning to one single word. So we have the word cup, and I have the meaning for that as vase. But I can also talk about cup as an award, as I, I got this cup, for doing gymnastics. All right, uh, here we have flexibility. Flexibility refers <clears throat> to the adoption and reception on how we use language in different circumstances. That is how ready we are. So for example, we have someone with higher flexibility uh, well, they, they can talk about how bread is made and how planes have different components that make them lighter. Therefore, this person is more ready whenever uh, they, he has to talk about either of these topics. That is flexibility. Okay, we also have productivity. So productivity refers to the adoption of variations one can take on one single topic. So my example here is a user with higher productivity can talk about as eloquently as he writes, in contrast with someone, with some people who cannot process language as good when they have to speak. So someone with higher productivity might be a very good writer and also a very good speaker. Whereas someone with uh, a, a, a reduced form of productivity might be a good reader, but uh, a bad listener. All right. We also have redundancy. So redundancy refers to the lack of specific of specific uh, specificity. I, I got it wrong here. It's a specificity. Let me just change it. Specificity. This is a T. Users have resulting in blurred, blurred ideas. Repetitive semanticity. Someone with higher semanticity has lesser redundancy. So, for example, uh, someone who has uh, lesser less semanticity and higher redundancy might say my school is very good at teaching what teachers teach because they're good teachers so you see how uh, every every single of these phrases is talking about the same but even though they're different words they're talking about the same so that is redundancy um, that's it now let's continue so uh, I wanted to continue with my references. Uh, these were uh, from R. Wood, and the book is called Language Function, an Introduction to Pragmatic Assessment and Intervention for Higher Order Thinking and Better Literacy. Uh, that's it for today. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.